Okay, hi everyone, uh, I'm James. Um, so about me, I, I just graduated from NUS High School like last year and I'm part of the engineering interest group. And basically what I do, I, I just think out a lot and do a lot of random stuff. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, I do very fun projects and more, more hardware and few, a little bit of the stuff, really minimal, mostly just like this kind of um, this is why, why I built it. So there's, I, I built this thing last uh, Friday. I didn't plan for it, but basically I had two, two hours of free time and I found a motor and a USB cable in, in the lab. So some, so somehow I just decided to build an air raid siren. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So this is how, what happened in that two hours. I designed and laser cut everything. Yeah. Uh, used Corel Draw and Basically, it's a bit of soldering I had to do. Just, I mean, just two joints, yeah. So basically, I don't know. Um, this this center part spins in the middle of this uh, cage, and what happens is it throws the air outwards as it spins. And the, there are twelve veins, and every time it hits the hole, it closes here, and then it opens again. So basically, what happens? It it creates this um, pulsating air that creates the noise la. and so this is my first prototype I don't know why is that first prototype but basically I I used the USB at first which was a big mistake so I measured the motor the motor drew about one amp I measured in school so at five volt console voltage so the the charger that I used supplies about two amps so what happened was I think that the the motor wasn't really al well aligned so the the central part got caught and probably drew too much current. That's why it, it didn't work in the end. So I went to Sydney and bought a power brick that <laughs> that cost a bit too much. And <laughs> it was 9 volts and 3 amps. So um, yeah, so I wired everything up and it measured 82 decibels. Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought it was quite loud, yeah. <laughs> I was testing it at home at 10 p.m. and then I realized it was 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, so these are some of the future improvements that I thought. Um, so, in so now I have one piece of wood as you can see that's holding down the motor and it's hot glued down. So very potato. Maybe I could use two. If I use two, it'll be more stable and there will be less need for uh, alignment. Then. Um, Maybe some modular design instead of just gluing everything together. So if you want to like make changes, yeah. And then dual layered siren. So now this one has 12, um, 12 veins. So if you change the number of veins, you can have um, different pitch at, with, with the same motor running at the same speed. So if you put two layers, then it actually sound like an actual air siren. Yeah. So then I had, I, I went crazy and I thought of this idea. So. What if we can mount it here? Why not we get a we get a huge bar and we mount it with a chain drive? So it's basically like a go kart, but you have this whole whole bar of just air raid sirens. Yeah. Okay, so that's about it. I can do a demo now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take this off first. <laughs> Yeah, so um yeah, it's not really aligned, that's why it <laughs> kind of rubs against the side again. Yeah, that's why the pitch changed a bit. Yeah. So that's about it, yeah. <laughs> 